Hello and welcome back. This time we are going to talk about yet another diagram, yeah? control diagram. Last time we had this trivial step diagram and trivial time diagram. Now we make the control diagram. The control diagram shows signals, yeah? not status of, of drive, they show signals. Yeah? Control diagram, write it here. Control. Diagram. Yeah. We do have three signals. Yeah. One input signal started, yeah. one or start signal, start command, yeah. two output signals for the two conductors. And we again have our four steps. One, two, Three, four. Okay. What is the start command? Hmm. One is the flap conductor. And one is the belt contactor. Yeah. And they either they all either turned off or on. Zero or one. Zero or one. Zero or one. Okay. First thing which is appearing is the start command. Yeah. So the start command changes to 1. What shall change with the start command? The belt shall change. The belt shall start. So we need to start the belt. First step, the flap shall not do anything, so the command for the flap stays 0. After the belt has reached its full speed, we're changing the flap to yes, please, I want, yeah. start command stays on, yeah. belt contactor stays on, of course, also. Yeah. Then, if the start command now vanishing, yeah. go away, yeah. then the first thing which needs to go away is the flap contactor. The belt conductor shall stay on. And only after the flap is fully closed, the belt conductor shall also go away. So it pretty much looks like last time. However, this time we do only see the signals, not the drives. Okay, not the status of the drives. And here disappears out of nowhere, it seems like. There we again I have to know something. Yeah? And this is why I can combine a travel step diagram and a control diagram to a so-called functional diagram yeah? or a function diagram. Function diagram. And here I can really now show what it means. Yeah? So this time I show all different things. Yeah? I show the commands as well as the states of the drives. I hope I have everything now. Start command, flap contactor, flap drive, belt contactor, belt drive. Yes. And I will now even do Another step in between. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Why? I will explain. Okay. So here we have start. It's between zero and one. Here we have 
flap, flap contactor, and here we have the flap drive. Okay. Flap contactor is also between 0 and 1, and the flap is closed or open. Okay. Here we do have the belt contactor and the belt drive. Here, belt contactor is either switched off or on, and the belt is stopped or started. Now, let's make it the same thing like before again. Start, back. What is happening with the start command? With the start command, the belt contactor is changing to 1. This is happening here, okay? And now I can even draw or add lines what is influencing. So this start command now has caused this switch, okay? Now, belt from zero starting to full speed. The change of the belt contactor now changed the belt situation. Now that our belt has reached full speed, we will switch the flap contactor. Assuming start command stays on, Flap is in standstill still. Yeah. This, so this has him having reached full speed is causing now this. Okay, and this is causing the flap to open. Whoop. Belt stays full speed, yeah. belt contactor stays, now we are start, yeah. now we are started, that's it, that's a stable situation, this is now actually why I added those additional steps to show this operational, yeah. and now after this step, start command goes away, yeah. it stays then. Because of the start command goes away, we will switch off the flap. Whoop. Because the flap was switched, flap contactor was switched off, the flap will start to close. Ooh. Belt contactor stays on, belt is still running. After, after the flap was fully closed, it will influence the belt contactor, which will be turned off. Clacky. Above here nothing is changed. And this again is causing the stopping of the belt. function diagram showing in detail exactly what is which action is causing which follow-up yeah, and which output or signal is causing which drive to change. Yeah. Full information about the control. The control is described totally. Yeah in a very, in a very uh, structured way, so without misinterpretation, without the change of misinterpretation. Okay? For step controls, this thing is ideal, yeah? ideal. Next time we're talking about something else which is not done in, in diagram form, yeah? which is done in written form. Yeah? We're talking about 
a graph set. Yeah. And you will see there's even then a little bit more possible. For this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.